do is basically, yeah, drinking food. Wow, look at this. Oh, I'm in the middle of the road and there's a car about to come. This looks pretty cool. I'll just let these people pass. What's up, guys? I'm in uh, Seoul again, another walking video. This area is called Konde, which is right by university. Pretty crowded from my walk over here. But before I go on my walk, I'm just gonna first pick up this Nerf gun and the Gatorade that uh, I decided to just get for free because there's a group on Facebook called Really Free Things in Korea or something. You just comment on whatever you want and uh, you could just claim it. And I don't know if I should be more surprised at the fact that there are generous people here that are giving away cool things like this without asking for anything or the fact that this person left out these really cool Nerf guns right in front of her house in a very public road as you can see and uh, nobody steals it <laughs> so this is how amazing Korea is guys uh, whatever the case let's uh, go ahead and check out uh, what's around here in Gondaebgu originally I wasn't gonna plan on shooting here uh, this person actually offered to just meet me at the subway station and uh, hand me the Nerf guns so that I don't even have to waste uh, one dollar or so on the subway trip and I can just go on my way. She's super nice but she had a zoom meeting and I ran a little late so that's why I uh, ended up being this way. Um, whoa. By the way, as you can see, like, they're just very residential areas to the side. I think this is generally how Korean um, streets are. Like, in the very front is the main road. And then the alley that's like literally right behind the main road. It's like where they have these restaurants and bars. And then right behind that, as you can see uh, more residential areas like this so very typical Korean neighborhood setup um, I, there's like a bunch of universities here uh, I don't really go to university here or do any foreign exchange stuff but I think Hanyang because the other station is called Hanyang De. those are very big universities here. Gongguk University and Hanang University. Uh, oh, look at this. <laughs> that sign right there, it says every food is only 7,000 won. Like all the side dishes. Anju is what you call food you eat with um, you, dr you eat with drinks. How does that work? Anju is basically, yeah, drinking food. Wow, look at this. Oh, I'm in the middle of the road and there's a car about to come. This looks pretty cool. Um, I'll just let these people pass. Because in Korea, they have the right of way. Oh, there's more stuff there. Um, oh, what should I do? Uh, I could keep walking over that direction and over there is the main road. What I'll do is I'll do like a little square turn. How about that? How about them apples? Um, let's see what leads down here. Ugh. If I had to guess, there might be a traditional market down there. 50-50 <laughs> guess. Ah, I love this summer. Summer is really perfect weather for me guys because in Thailand summer is really hot, super humid. Korea, you know I thought it would be more humid here because based on how many people I hear complain about Korea's summer from people who live here, you would think it's like the worst thing. But uh, 
when you're used to like Bangkok summers and humidity there, it's very pleasant. I mean, even compared to like California, it's quite pleasant. Like I think California is uh, maybe the hottest out of all of them, but it's sort of like a dry heat. So it's not as bad. Plus, you know, we're always driving around in AC. But, um, ooh. Let me just sort of show you guys what's around here. There's uh, Waffle University. I hear these uh, things are very popular. There's uh, coffee over there. Oh, oh my gosh, I think I've been here before. I went to the other one in this franchise. They, <laughs> they give you um, meat, bulgogi, with what? With uh, naengmyeon, cold noodles. Oh, I really feel up that right now. Look at this. It's a Sakura soju wine beer place. Oh, I like this retro look. Man, I forgot what I was talking about. I just got so t sidetracked admiring that. Um, oh, yeah, this is sort of becoming more local back here. Oh. You know, this... Uh, Ah, I, I don't know if I've ever been here or I have and it just changed so much. Look at this awesome food places here. Seoul just keeps getting better. Oh my gosh, how right am I? I, I think I just sort of understand how Korean neighborhoods are set up. Traditional market. Boom! Ah, oh, she's breaking the law. They just recently passed a law that uh, for those scooters, you have to wear a helmet and they're gonna start cracking down on people like her. Oh, look at this. Wow, that looks good. Oh, little bakeries. Well, in the middle of Seoul and uh, prices aren't too bad. But, uh, oh, I think I was saying this is sort of like uh, like a more authentic Hongdae, per se. Um, I love these uh, sort of university neighborhoods because it's just always full of activity. Oh, very thin tteokbokki. Oh, I might have to come back for that. Thin tteokbokki. So when you have young people, you always have innovation, you always have artsy kind of people. Um, you know, Hongdae obviously was the more popular one because Hongdae is literally an art school. Iwa is a woman's only university. So lots of people like to hang out there, but because it was so popular, that may have been the downfall. And now it's like super commercialized. Look, <laughs> those homes are like probably built around the 90s. I sort of lived in a house like that I believe when I was here oh 80s I wasn't here in the 90s when I was like a little any bit you little kid that's where I lived in one of those kinds of houses three-story high um but yeah because Hongdae it's too touristy now because it's it's its popularity was its downfall and now it's lost its uh, authenticity but this Konde area this university they're keeping it pretty real um, I'm liking it it's well it's definitely closer to Yangpyeong uh, for reference it's sort of on the ah oh, well I should explain what line number two is wow look at this I don't have time to go over there but I'll just sort of give you guys a, a look that's not really bar kind of areas you see like hair shops very local stuff I'm only a block over and, and you can see the crowds a lot more local ajumas and stuff driving around their bicycles um, they got screen I thought that's green golf, but that's green baseball. 
Uh, strike zone. Interesting. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to navigate through this. But, uh... Yeah, this place is very authentic now. Um, and uh, as far as line 2 is concerned, okay, so... Uh, when you come to Korea, there's... I think there's like 20 subway lines in Seoul alone. I mean, compare that to Thailand, for example. You just have BTS and MRT. You know, you just... Have, <laughs> you have two, and then like, they, 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 they created multiple lines recently, so... I think there's like plans to have four or five lines, but Korea is like way over 20 in Seoul, right? So it's really hard to keep track of all of them. But there are two that you should know, and it's line number one and line number two. They're, they're as the numbers suggest, the oldest lines in Seoul and most centrally located. Um, although line number two came after line number one, line number two is a more important line. It, it's, I think they call it the inner circle line. Basically, line number two circles around Seoul. Now, I could go over there, but I'm just gonna go through this more local area. And uh, hopefully I could backtrack where I wanted to. Um, oh, look at this. I like this sort of chill vibe. Man, you know, if you're... You can see why I drive a scooter now. I mean, if you're in Seoul, there's no better way to get around than on a scooter or like an electric bicycle like her. You know, a scooter can at least take you 90 kilometers per hour and you can go on the road as well. So it's a bit more versatile. Oh, look at this popping too. Oh, that looks so good. Um, but the inner circle line, the green line, line number two, um, it just circles around Seoul, so um, on the very western end of that is Hongdae, and you should know because I made so many videos about Hongdae, I was just talking about it. Um, sort of to the south of that is where Seoul University is. Uh, unless you're like a student, you don't really care about that. And then, um, but you will care about what's on southwest, which is where Gangnam is. Ooh. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I, I want to check out that restaurant. Lee Chun Sajang. Um, so yeah, so you go circle around from Hongdae, you go south, and then you like Seoul University. Um, and then you hit Gangnam in the southwest. And then, oh, southeast. And then on the east, you end up with uh, this area, Gongguk University, Hanyang, etc. Um, and the eastern area is probably the area I've explored the least in Seoul. Because I, I've never really been a student, but I'm really liking the vibe. But just to wrap up uh, this education of the different lines, if you go Oh, north, east, that's Wangshinyi or Chongyangyi, one of those. Uh, sort of an old neighborhood, just a major transportation hub. The reason that area, the north, east, and the southwest are major transportation areas, so I skip southwest, which is Shindorim. Wangshinyi and Shindorim. Yeah, they, they got pretty cool stuff, but it's not like a cultural center, but they're very popular because that's where the line number one intersects. Line number one goes diagonally and it cuts right through the inner circle line. And uh, it basically goes from the northeastern area, you know, way further up northeast than where Wang Chimni and Chongyangyi is. And uh, it goes, cuts through uh, Shindorim in the south uh, west. Oh, I'm getting my directions confused. And once it cuts through there, that's where it leads to Incheon, and then it's it, it like actually splits, and one actually goes all the way to Pyeongtaek. So those are the two significant lines you should know of. And uh, 
because Korea is so vast, I mean Seoul, Korea is actually quite small, but Seoul is just so big. Uh, as I researched the other day, the second largest metropolitan area after Tokyo. Um, it's really hard to like talk about streets. So what, what, what street are you in? You can't say that like in Bangkok, like, oh, I'm on Sukhumvit. You know, <laughs> you're not, that's not going to work here. So we generally like, when we talk about directions, we, we just talk about, oh, we're near this subway station. And everybody tries to get a location that's near line number two or line number one. That would be like maybe the BTS or the MRT of Bangkok. And then, uh, you know, Korea is like decades ahead of Bangkok. So they have like 20 something lines that have branched off of that. And Bangkok is just on its third. Oh, look at this. Oh. Uh, uh. A little playground exercise area. You know, although there's like a lot of bars and stuff, it's a very safe neighborhood. I imagine, actually, well, actually, I don't know. I really wouldn't know how much it would cost to live in one of those. <laughs> um, yeah. Man, I'm really liking this area though. Oh, let's see. For those of you uh, K-pop fans. Wait, isn't that Girls Generation? I don't know, you let me know. Oh, I know this guy. G-O-D, I'm like old school K-pop fan. I don't know all these new guys. But, uh, it is a very popular hangout spot, guys. I mean, if you are gonna walk around neighborhoods and check it out, Yep, definitely go check out Hongdae, but you know, don't go to Hongdae twice because that's not the only happening place, you know? In Korea, there's just so many happening places like this. Um, okay, I circled around. I remember I was gonna go there. And uh, I basically circled around from there. Uh, forgive me if, you know, I, I'm just sort of curious about this. What is this though? It's a private 24 hour room Hof. Oh, look at this. They got individual rooms in each one of these. And uh, you get a really nice view of the street underneath and you could be drinking or whatever. That's pretty cool. Um, anyways. Oh, look at this. Man, look at this. Oh, it's like only like 10 bucks. You pair that with like a dollar or two for a beer. That's a good night. Oh, look at this. Oh. You can get... What? They give you a few fries with everything. Thais would love it. You know how Thai people love french fries? They give you free fries with everything. Yeah, yeah, sort of like a Hongdae vibe. I feel like though this area is more for locals. Even though Hongdae, the... The real estate is probably more expensive, like... When I look at the clothes... They seem actually more high quality than Hongdae. Because I'm sorry to say this, but um, wow, it seems that foreigners have like lower standards for the quality of the clothes. So, like Koreans, you know, because they live in Korea, they're far more picky and sensitive about the price so they generally give you but oh man i don't I, I got two this is a really cool building here so i want to show you that but 
Oh man, look at this. 30 year history, cold noodles. I'm feeling cold noodles. But I gotta wrap it up here because I gotta head over to um, um, my aunt's area because it's almost the end of June and I gotta use all my st stimulus money at the traditional market. That's why I'm not eating anything right now. Man, just look at... I haven't gone down this street, but there's so much down there. This Kunde University area is legit, guys. It's so legit. Um, oh... I'm gonna have to hang out here uh, once COVID sort of dies down and we could just, you know, party without limitations. But, you know what? A lot of these franchises, they must be franchises. They have this in Hongdae as well. In Hongdae, actually, it's a lot bigger. Mayu bought an earring from there. Um, oh, so this is like Kunde University uh, street food area. So it seems like, even though I don't know this area, I have, uh, with my Korean census tingling, led you to the right place. Alright, so... Maybe you're disorientated, but I've been sort of walking parallel. So in the beginning, I, I went through this uh, street food bar area, and then I went uh, further back to the traditional market and a block over, that's more the local area. And then I went back to the street food bar area. And now I'm at the main intersection here, where the uh, subway is, see? So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's a mall there. I think that's a Lotte Mall. There's an E-Mart there, so lots of big grocery stores and department stores. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but this is also another thing. In the main uh, intersections, they usually have hospitals. It was very traditional Korean setup. like clinics and uh, <laughs> dentists yeah that's like all skin like hair implant places like this is a very typical korean uh, neighborhood setup uh, interesting Oh, yep. Tour le, tour le jour. If an American reads that, they'd say tous les jours. Tous les jours. But even Koreans say tous les jours. I don't know what the actual French pronunciation is, but that's uh, after Paris Baguette, the, the largest uh, bakery coffee chain here. Oh, look at all these Vespas. What the heck is up with the Vespas? Oh. You know, I could just cruise down here in my scooter. Park it here. Uh, eat, drink, whatever. And if I'm, uh, if I drink, I could just take the subway and go home. And just leave my bicycle or my bike here. And uh, it's not going to cost anything to just keep it overnight and it'll be pretty safe. I mean the super, like the Nerf guns and everything as you can see is just in the middle of the road. No one does anything guys. That's what you can experience from Korea. Safety. Um, I mean most Asian countries are, are safer than your average hood in America, but um, Korea is exceptionally safe. It's, it's like you could go anywhere, you don't have to worry about any kind of tourist scams or anything. 
Uh, most of these places cater to locals anyways. Um, and they're there just with college students or whatever working, just getting paid hourly. They have no incentive to rip you off. Um, so yeah, very safe environment. Oh, well, my hands are now sort of feeling numb. Uh, so here's the main neighborhood. Uh, I know a lot of you guys wanted to see like something more happening. And uh, I guess I should just sort of venture off into these Korean neighborhoods I, I don't really know about because... Um, the tourist areas are dead. Well, what is going on here? Diet, dance, flex. Why? Why would they have a like? They're marketing with a foreigner. Oh, it's like yoga and stuff. I heard those instructors. Uh, I don't know. A lot of uh, young people are starting up exercise studios like yoga, Pilates, uh, gyms. Unfortunately, those businesses have been pretty hard hit because of COVID because they've been sort of centers for where the virus has spread. Ah, OBGYN right there, Sambuinkwa, Pilates, etc. Alright guys, so this might be like the shortest walking video I've done, but hey, maybe I'll just keep it short like this because I'm a busy guy in Korea. Uh, definitely check out a lot of the other stuff I'm doing tomorrow I have a, a opening ceremony for the foreign ministry so I'm doing like a tourism thing with them and uh, you should already have seen a lot of my uh, Gyeonggi province videos and uh, I'll continue doing Seoul with Global Soulmates this is across the street by the way oh my gosh I just ran into that kid and uh, yeah uh, I, I'm answering people's questions I'm not gonna be going back to Thailand at least until the end of this year I'm already booked out with stuff to do here and uh, Thailand seems to be having issues trying to figure out things anyway so I, I'm not I'm not going back there um, I still have my condo there and everything so hopefully I can go back but that's not on me I'm just waiting on Thailand but I'm also not in a hurry because uh, Korea has been treating me well. So whatever the case, I hope you guys uh, have a fantastic uh, week and I'll see you again. Maybe in Gondae again because I only explored a little bit of this. If you want to see the other areas in Gondae, comment below. Let me know if you like this better than Hongdae area. <sighs>